Hello friends, today let's solve a number of good paths. We need to count how many paths which are good in this tree. So the definition of a good path is that the both ends should have the largest value among these paths. So all the nodes inside the path should be uh, smaller than the both ends. Also, both ends should have the uh, same value. So how should we do that? I think the most intuitive solution would be do a different search from each node. And then we just count whether the current path is a good path. If yes, then we accumulate the number. But the issue is that we will count the same path twice. So we would uh, traverse many paths uh, more than once. For example, if we start from node 1, we will get this good path. But if we start from node 4, we should get another good path. So we actually doubled this number. But the issue is not about double, because double we can simply divide 2. The issue is like we traverse uh, redundantly. So the time complexity is large. Can we do better? Well, since we want to get uh, like a path which the both end is uh, the largest, so can we build this tree from the small value? So what does that mean? For example, this is the given um, example, right? So if we build the path from the smallest number, because if we build the, the tree from the smallest uh, value, then when we get a larger value, we are sure those already exist in the tree would be in the middle of this path, right? So we don't need to uh, compare again. So we just need to find whether the current existing nodes have some equal value as the new coming node. If yes, we already find a, a good path. Okay, so that being said, we will try to uh, simulate this process. So firstly, the smallest value would be the 0 and the 3, right? So we get this 0 here. This value is 1. We cannot do anything because all the its neighbors has a larger number as him, but uh, uh, as it. Uh, recall why we want to start from the smallest value is because when we meet a larger value, we know all the nodes existing is smaller or equal to it. So we can uh, like uh, combine them together. So now for zero, right? Although I know uh, his neighbor nodes is one and two, but their value is larger than it, so we cannot do anything. Then for the uh, node one, or uh, actually node three, its value is one. The same case, its neighbor has a larger value than it, so we cannot do anything. For the node two, its value is two. And let's check his neighbor. His neighbor has the smaller value as it. So we can set this node as the root node. So we link them together. And then they are together, right? So uh, node two would be the root node. So I just write uh, R here, means root. And then the other neighbor is three, right? Three. Okay, three uh, also smaller than two. So it, uh, its node is still this two. We didn't find a good path so far. And then we try to add uh, these two nodes. So let's check uh, this node uh, two. Its value is three. Because this three is l larger then uh, the node, uh, the node links to uh, it is this uh, two, right? The largest is uh, value two. It's smaller than two. Is smaller than the value three. So we just link them together. We didn't find a good uh, path. And also, this is smaller. So we just uh, update uh, this root to three. So this would be the new root. 
and the last thing we need to add uh, this root one. Well, this time since its value is three, right? So we uh, its value is three, and uh, we know its uh, it, its neighbor is zero, right? But zero the value is one, but zero is not the root of this connecting component. So we just find its root. Its root is four, and its value is three which is the same as the three. So we find the one good pass. So we plus one, and also we link them together. So that's how we get the result. In this example, we find the one good uh, pass. But let's think about another example. If uh, the value here is also three, no, it is also three, how should we calculate by doing uh, this? Well, mostly would be the same. Let's do it again to uh, strengthen our understanding. So, uh, yeah, maybe just, uh, yeah, you just know this graph. So do the same thing. First, for the zero, we just put it here. The value is one, and then it's a two, right? Since it's larger than uh, node zero, we just combine them together. And then this value is two. So now it's the root. And then all of them are three, so we can take whatever node as the next, maybe uh, root uh, three. Well, since it's larger than its neighbor is two, right? So we uh, update uh, the root uh, to three. So this would be the uh, root, okay? The value is three. And then we get uh, the four. Its neighbor is two. And uh, for the, uh, for the Oh, it's very small actually here. For this uh, connected component, its root value is three, right? The for the four, the value also three. So which means we actually find a good pass, which is this one, right? So our result should uh, plus one. Okay, so now all of these four, um, four nodes would be together. So to be synchronized or to be con const uh, constant. So when whatever we find uh, uh, those nodes uh, small or equal than itself, we should update uh, the newcomer, a uh, newcoming uh, node as the root. So that would be the root. Okay. So next we have this one, node one, and this value also three. Basically the same. We find its neighbor is zero. It's zero, but zero is not the root, so we will find the root. Root is four, and it's the value is three, so it's the same as the one. So we find a pass. But the issue is actually we have two. Two nodes have the same value three, so we should actually plus two, right? Not one. So what should we do? Actually, it's the it is like. Uh, we should know the size of this connected component. The size means actually, actually means the largest number, its occurrence, so it's two. For uh, this component, the, the largest number three occurs once, so one times two equal to three. Okay, so that's it. So we need a variable called the size to record the number of the largest value in this connected component. So in this case, it will size would be equal to two. So we still recall that previously the connect component is this one. So we combine it with this four, right? So which means when we update the root, we should update the four uh, plus the size of uh, previously the root is three, right? So we add one, okay. Yeah, I hope it's clear. Now, uh, now let's write the code. So basically, it uh, is a union find uh, solution. So we need uh, the disjoint set uh, class. And now inside it has root. Uh, it has the size. And we also need a con constructor function. So it is a public uh, disjoint uh, set. We pass n and then root new int n and the size new int n. 
and then we should uh, initialize the array size. Uh, sorry, array field size one, and also for root. At the very beginning, each node is its itself root, so root i would be i. Usually, for this join set, we have union find. But in this case, we don't need uh, the union because we have the strategy which is uh, put the the current node, which is, has the largest value, as the node. So we should uh, do it uh, inside this function. So we just need uh, the find. Find is to find the um, root. So for x. If you don't understand this part, please check my previous video. So basically here, I will just... Uh, uh, talk simply. So it's when root x not equal to x, we just try to update all the. Actually, here it's optimization. Let's try to find the root x and then return root x. Okay, so this is a disjoint set. So here we are given edges, so it's not a useful or adjacent list. So we need uh, to convert it to an agent uh, list representation. So n, n would be vowels dot length. And for the graph, we can use the list integer array. So it's the graph. It is a graph. And list n. And then for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus. This is the initialization. So graph i with the new array list. OK? Then we just iterate this h for int a equal to h0, b equal to h1, and then graph a at b, graph b at a. Then we need a disjoint set, dsu disjoint set n. And uh, recall, how do we put this uh, nodes? It's from the nodes has the smallest value, right? So we are given these values. We need to uh, have the index of these nodes, which are sorted uh, based on their values. So we need um, we need to write integer because we need uh, to write a comparator, a new integer. And, and then for i equal to y, I, let's say n i plus plus. Then id is i equal to i, and then we will sort these ids by their value in the box, box a minus box b. Okay, then we just uh, iterate every id, ids. So we will get a current val, like uh, for zero, it val x would be a uh, val id, right? And then we also need to find uh, its root. We will get a yes find a, uh, find ID, okay, and then for its neighbor, so we call it a y neighbor. It's a graph ID. We will get it a, a root y would be yes find a y. So if root x equal to root y, we cannot do anything. And also the value, right? We also care about the value uh, y, which is the vowels of the root y. Remember, when we have the connected components of these four nodes, we only care about the largest value, which is the root value. So it's the vowels root y. OK, so if vowel y is larger than vowel x, we cannot do anything because we only wish to connect it to some smaller value. Like uh, we have these three, we want to connect you to the uh, the value is small or equal than itself, right? So that's the reason why when we put uh, this zero, we will, we are not uh, connected with one and two because it, they have larger value. So we just continue. So if uh, val x equal to val y, the same, the same, we find a good path. So we need the result at the uh, beginning. It should equal to the number of the nodes, right? And uh, then uh, we should incre increment its value by size. Do you still remember it's a size uh, multiplication, uh, multiplication application, so size 
it would be root x times size root y. And here we should update the size of uh, what is the largest now. The largest one would be the root x, right? Plus this ds size root y. Because always remember x is larger than y, so it's root x plus root y. And uh, no matter whether it is equal or not, if here means value x greater or equal than value y, so we should update the ds root root y equal to uh, root x in the end return result. Yeah, so that's all. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.